Hi guys, welcome to another Eagle 6 production. We're going to be doing battery prep. The um, what it is, is the lithium polymer battery for the Glock 18 and the USP AEP series, well actually any AEP series actually. Um, for those people that are sort of a bit fed up actually with the standard slot in batteries which are only sort of 7.2 volts, a bit weak type thing and um, there's these uh, 7.2 volt LiPos that are available from Amazon.com uh, I would recommend other places but thus far that's all the only place I've found uh, them to do these specific ones they're um, I try to remember 25C so if you're doing a search on Google uh, it was the discharge rating they're 900 milliamp and they're 7.4 volt LiPos um, you can buy them in singles or in pairs. Um, pairs if you're worried about destroying the first one, so you got a second. Um, but, um, but yeah, they're only sort of yay big. And I'll show you why they work so well. Uh, this is the uh, Tokyo Marie Glock AEP. As you can see with the slide off here and the battery out, so the quick change battery. As you can see, the battery is quite nice, sort of a fit in there, but it just doesn't quite as it is. So this particular video is just going to show you how to um, prep the battery from how it is currently to how we want it ready for the um, for the conversion um, to go into the gun so that we can make the whole gun work with this LiPo. Uh, so um, we'll set aside the gun, we'll do that in a separate video and we'll just quickly prep the battery which is going to involve splitting the battery because currently as you can see it just doesn't quite fit in there so what we want to do is we want to split the battery in half um, at the moment I think the person who sent me these LiPo has already had the uh, outer coating off from what I can tell so if I show you the other one as it comes with so it, obviously it starts off with a like a plastic outer coating on there so you just basically split that and the outer wrapping uh, and just peel that off then you're obviously left with the inside here which is the, um, the the silver outer coating which is like a metal casing type thing around it um, it's quite it takes quite a lot to um, to puncture that okay but you can obviously if you squeeze too hard you can dent it uh, deform it and obviously eventually you might be able to perforate it type thing and then obviously the lipo is going to be dead so but uh, so just be careful with the the metal outer coating what you want to do is to, once you get to this sort of stage, you can see it on the video there, you don't want to mess around with the end piece here because that's where the connections are, okay? So there's a metal piece going across these end pieces here which actually joins these two cells together. Um, so what we're going to have to do is split from this direction here where they've been, basically, the two cells have simply been glued together with sort of a sticky tape. So we want to take this standard household knife I don't know where my standing knife's gone, and then just gently push down, basically splitting the tape here. I hope you can see it on the video. Slowly pushing down, splitting the tape, so just taking care not to dent or perforate the cells. Slowly working it and then splits apart. So as it comes apart now, like I say, on the end of this is uh, like a metal connection that goes from there to there. Um, because it's a metal piece, the more you bend it, 
potentially the more chance you have for flexing it and then eventually snapping it. So I don't know if you've ever done that with a piece of metal before. So what we want to do is we want to keep them relatively close together. Because after all, all that needs to happen, so you can see the metal piece here at the bottom, all that needs to happen is that the barrel has to sit just ever so slightly in these, okay? So what we need to do now is add a little bit of tape on here just enough so that we can hold it together you know so that basically the battery can go in, so in and out of the gun but without obviously damaging it through time so we want some sort of coating on try and separate the individual cells get past the actual stickiness Remember all we're trying to do here is separate the cells, cells by splitting the pack so that we can get the barrel in between it but then reapply just a, an outer coat in here just for the LiPo's general well-being. I mean I prefer to charge, leave it in the gun so my LiPo just sits in my USP and never ever goes out of there if I need to charge it I just take the barrel out and get at the connectors and charge it while it's in the gun. So just do these one at a time. Um, a definite benefit of doing the LiPo upgrade is so that when you were, uh, or if you decide to fit one of our Eagle Six springs to increase the FPS, um, you don't get such a drop in in uh, trigger response or rate of fire. So uh, in fact, it's hardly noticeable. So, so either you can leave the spring standard and fit the LiPo, and then have quite an extreme rate of fire uh, on a standard spring. But then obviously you're stuck at the sort of 220 sort of stock figure. Um, you can try and fit some upgrade bits to it and maybe get it up to sort of 250 um, with obviously the, the LiPo. Uh, or you can fit the spring and just basically on a stock gun have a, have a sort of instant 270 with the LiPo. Then a few other mods and potentially get it as high as my USP and you know, the, well, it fires sort of a consistent. 290 with the odd one peaking over the 300 mark which was what my original goal was I mean I'd loved to get to the 330 FPS I call it like the golden figure but there was just even no matter how many springs I made more powerful than the current one um, there was no increase above 290 sort of FPS just because I just 